Right, good afternoon and this is what we're going to be making today. This slightly different asparagus, strawberry and orange salad. It's going to be gorgeous. Come on, let's get cooking. Right, firstly we're going to start with some mescaline salad. Now you can buy this pre-bagged and it's a mixture of um, rocket, uh, some sage leaves, some herbs um, and also uh, some cress. Very very good for you and gives you some interesting flavours if they change out the mixture seasonally. So chop this up finely and into your bowl. This is the bowl we'll be eating the salad out of. Right, there we go. This all looks fairly regular so far, but you'll find the twist at the end quite interesting. Then we've got eight cherry tomatoes, sweet cherry tomatoes, quartered, and we'll add those to our bowl as well and that will give a very interesting contrast. Now I'm going to add some red onion. There we are now, just break these up so that you can mix together these beautiful sweet red onions with the rest of the salad. And now some new seasoned strawberries. <laughs> love this time of year when all of the fruits and vegetables that you love so much come into season. Nothing better than fresh strawberries. It's all I can do to put <laughs> these strawberries in the salad and not eat them all before I'm even done with them. Rightio. Now we're going to add also to this one, there are five strawberries here by the way, and I've quartered them. We're going to add half of this navel orange. Now how are you going to add half of it? Well, quite simple, just score the orange into quarters like this. Once you've done that, get your thumb underneath and pry away the peel. Now remember, you only want half of this. So get in there and just take half. You've got the rest of your orange here. You can pop that back in the fridge wrapped. Right here's our navel orange, we'll pop that in here. It's getting quite a nice big salad here and I can't wait. Now for the cooked part of the salad. Now I'm doing a vegetarian version but you can also add either rump steak finely sliced, marinated and stir-fried or the same with um, chicken breast meat would go just as well. well I'm going to do it minus the meat today so the next thing we're going to do before we start cooking is make up our dressing. Right the first is some honey so a big teaspoon and we'll come back <laughs> Once I've got it off the spoon. Right, we're gonna, um, that's more like a tablespoon actually. Um, we're going to put that in the microwave for 15 seconds just to get it nice and runny. Right, that's nice and runny. In with a teaspoon of Dijon mustard now. 
very important that you combine this thoroughly before you add your red wine vinegar. Now two tablespoons, one, two of Italian red wine vinegar, combine this and then cover it and put it in the fridge until you're ready. Now our fresh bunch of asparagus we're just going to cut them like so and then they'll go into our fry pan with a tablespoon of butter. I'll come back when we're ready to do that. Right now while that pan's heating up we've got our red capsicum here and we're going to take just a third of it only and slice it up very thinly so like that and then we're going to pop that into our pan along with our asparagus once it's up to heat there we go and here we are, this is a beautiful asparagus. I'm going to put capsicum in now. There we are. Get that all moving. So this is just a tablespoon of butter, but you can see how much liquid there is being drawn out of these. We'll give them another 10 minutes on a low to medium heat until they're ready to be combined with the salad and the dressing. All right now we can add our very buttery capsicum and asparagus and our dressing. Oh it's just looking so amazing. Let's drizzle that through. Now we're just going to get two forks and just pull the bottom ingredients through, bringing that beautiful dressing with it. Look at that. Right, well I've got bits and pieces on my fork here. I'm going to give it a try. Mmm. <laughs> oh wow. That is absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I will catch you on my next recipe. Thank you. Goodbye.